Hey guys, my name is Daniel Cross, and today I want to talk to you about, about Call of Duty Ghosts and E3 and what to expect from E3, and as far as your expectations from Call of Duty Ghosts, what you're going to see and what they just announced on Twitter most recently. Um, off of Twitter, they announced that they are going to be showing off in-game levels from Call of Duty Ghosts June 9th at 11 a.m. Pacific Time. So, what does this tell us? Straight off the bat, we're going to get some gameplay. Now, can I kind of relate to this and what we're going to see? Like, what are our predictions? It's very simple. Um, what did we see in the past reveals? Usually they always had a couple developers come up on stage and they showed off the game. They were like, alright guys, we're going to walk you through the first level of our game uh, in campaign and show you what is kind of going on. Um, they did this with Black Ops, is the one that stands out most to me, as well as Modern Warfare 3. Um, Modern Warfare 3, they walked through the buildings, they showed buildings getting destroyed, they went through all these streets and stuff like that. It was very simple and very straightforward and planned. Now, with Black Ops, they actually showed us um, a, a different weapon. They showed us one of the sniper rifles with a X-ray scope, and they walked through like the LA downtown LA, and they were on the highway or something like that. Um, that's basically what I remember from the reveal. So this is something that they're going to be showing us at E3. Um, there's going to be a lot more. They have a 30 minute time slot to show us information. So I expect them to show us multiple levels. They're not just going to show us one. Um, this kind of brings me into thinking, are they going to show us multiplayer gameplay? Um, similar to what they did at Xbox One at that reveal. They didn't show us multiplayer gameplay. What they did show us though was a little bit of the dynamics and design behind the game. Uh, hopefully we'll get more of that. I know that they are planning a behind the scenes with developers after the fact. Um, so we're going to have a behind the scenes feature. We're going to have initial level gameplay that they're going to be releasing. The next thing that I also wanted to address is I personally know a lot of YouTubers that are going to E3 and they might end up getting hands on experience with the game. They might actually be able to play it. Um, I'm not one of these, I can't confirm it with really anyone, no one wants to talk about it, but I do know there are YouTube directors going to E3 purposely to play the game, and maybe they might end up getting a little bit of gameplay to upload to their own personal channel for whatever reason. Um, that would be rather unusual at this point in time if they were allowed to do that. It's all speculation. I could kind of see them doing that because that would just boost their teaser um, appearance as far as the game goes. It would really boost uh, the marketing on it. Um, and it would just promote a lot of talk and discussion. Um, the more information that we have within the next few days at E3 um, is going to kind of let, narrow it down. We already have the storyline for the game. All we need to do is figure out what's going on with the multiplayer, what is going to happen with, uh, you know, like what kind of weapons are we going to be getting, you know, how is sniping going to go, stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to what they're going to be doing at A3. Hopefully within the next few days we'll find out a little bit more. I don't expect a lot of announcements to be made on Twitter um, as well as any other social media until E3 comes around, but that's something to look forward, guys. Uh, we only have about six days until we uh, go live with that, so take care.